Hi everyone, Pridhvi from TGT and welcome to another video. Apple has released macOS Monterey 12.4 to the public and in this video I will discuss about everything important in this update. Just a reminder along with that Apple has also released iOS 15.5, iPadOS 15.5, Apple Watch OS 8.6, Apple TV OS 15.5 and also HomePod OS 15.5 to the public. Also, Mac OS Big Sur 11.6.6 .6 is here along with the security update for Mac OS Catalina. To check for this update, go to System Preferences, then Software Update and you should see your update available here. As you can see, this update came in around 2.29 GB in this mid 2017 MacBook Air 13 inch and depending on the device you have and the version you are on, this site should vary. Before the update, let's check the build number. As you can see, the version is 12.3.1 and the build number is 21E258. The available free storage in this Mac is 69.4 GB out of 128 GB. Now before I update, here is a request to subscribe to TGT. This is a dedicated channel for the Apple users and I post important Apple related videos here regularly. So do subscribe to get the latest updates from Apple. Let's now proceed with the update. Well the update is now complete. Let's go to about this Mac again. Here you can see the version is 12.4 now and the new build number is 21F79. After the update the available storage space is around 68.6 GB so very minor change in storage space. Talking about the new features and changes, there are a few important updates in this version. This version contains one enhancement, one resolved issue, 54 security fixes and 6 enterprise fixes. The first and the most anticipated one is universal control. Universal control is now officially out of beta. If you go to system preferences and then to displays, you will see universal control option. Of course, I can't show you this because this 2017 MacBook Air doesn't support universal control, but this is how the menu should look like. So Apple users can now use this feature across all the supported Macs and iPads, but you have to be on macOS Monterey 12.4 and iPadOS 15.5 to use universal control. Any older version is not supported. Next, if you go to System Preferences and then to Desktop and Screensaver, you will see there is a new one. This is the new Mac Studio wallpaper called Studio Color. And if you apply it, this is how it looks like. So that's a nice little addition. Apple has also updated the Podcasts app for Mac to match with the iOS update. Let's open the Podcasts app and then go to Preferences. Here within automatically download you can now see you have some more options. You can now set how your device download the episodes. You can set all episodes 2, 3, 5 or 10 episodes per show or last 24 hours, 7 days, 14 days, 30 days or all new ones. This will remove older automatic downloads and save a lot of space on your Mac. Apple has released Xcode version 13.4 and new command line tools along with this update as well. Mac OS Monterey 12.4 also gets new device support update. That means this update will ensure proper updating and restoring for iOS and iPadOS devices with a Mac. So if you are having issues with restoring your iPad or iPhone via your Mac, this update should help. With this Mac OS update, Apple has also released Safari 15.5 with some major security fixes. macOS Monterey 12.4 includes Safari 15.5, but if you are running macOS Big Sur or Catalina, then you need to install Safari 15.5 separately. I'll make a separate video for Safari 15.5 update, so stay tuned. Apple has also updated the new Mac Studio display firmware. The new version is 15.5, so if you are using Mac Studio along with the Studio Display, then you have a new separate update available. This update refines camera tuning and also includes improved noise reduction, contrast and framing. With macOS Monterey 12.4, Apple has introduced communication safety settings for messages, which gives parents the ability to enable warnings for children when they receive or attempt to send photos that contains nudity. 
Also, the safety warnings in messages contains helpful resources for children when they receive photos that contain nudity. Now talking about the bug fixes, Apple has fixed a bug for the 2013 Mac Pro where sleep-wake feature wasn't working properly. So the new firmware should resolve any issue related to that on your 2013 Mac Pro. Mac OS Monterey 12.4 also includes a lot of security fixes. If you go to the Apple security update website and then go to Mac OS Monterey 12.4, here you can see entries related to AMD, Apache, Apple graphics control, Apple script and more. In fact, there are 54 security fixes in this version as I mentioned before. Some Wi-Fi related updates are there as well. Performance and stability wise, this is running without any issue so far in this late 2017 MacBook Air 13 inch. After all these years, I still use this Mac as my main device and it runs quite well. Yes, I am missing out on some new features like universal control, but overall you can still pretty much use this Mac on day to day basis without any major issue. The overall battery life of macOS Monterey 12.3.1 was average, at least for me. Of course, you need to consider the age of this device. Battery life of macOS 12.4 will take some time to report. With macOS Monterey, I get around 6 hours of battery life in this MacBook Air, but it varies depending on the task I am doing. And after all these years, the remaining battery capacity of this Mac is 83% with 632 battery cycles. Now for the benchmark scores, let's run the Geekbench 5 here. And the scores for the Mac OS Monterey 12.4 are 634 for single core and 1500 for the multi core. Both the scores are almost same as Mac OS Monterey 12.3.1. The scores usually improve later as the system stabilizes. So if you are running Mac OS Monterey 12.3.1 already, then I think you should update to this version. This version is stable and will make your Mac more secure. Also, supported Mac users can now use universal control after updating. If you are still on Mac OS Big Sur or Catalina, there is a new update for you as well. But of course, do not forget to back up your Mac before the update. That's it for this video guys. Do share your experience about this update as well. Do like, share and please don't forget to subscribe to TGT. I'll see you in my next one. Peace.